You mean Catherine, do you not? That greedy star-crossed sow. Listen, friend. The Borst King of Monarch does not negotiate with coveters. How about you bring me Catherine's severed head, and I will gift you a lifetime supply of Borst. You desire that I should lower myself to Catherine's level of crassness and filth? I cannot fathom how that would cotton myself. The king built this golden monopoly brick by brick from the rubble when the corpse abandoned Monarch. No, he ain't the sort to partner up, as that requires the sharing of power and profits. You think to blackmail me? Try it. The king will grind you to bone spurs and toenails. For true, you figure she will appreciate my skills? They did take me years to perfect. However, I remain unconvinced she could provide the means to make the association worth my while. If you ain't noticed, I'm doing swell, ruling this kingdom on my own. Ah, but Catherine would admire a man of my inclinations and skill. That is what you imply, yes? She will supply the worship I so rightly deserve. Very well. The king is interested. John Hancock me on the dotted line, friend. I will even <clears throat> give her a cut of the profits, requiring she keeps clear of my short hairs. Do not push me. I am not one to suffer insults. Tell Catherine she is permitted to dump the bodies each and every Tuesday, precisely at 3 a.m.
You seen Arthur today? Now there's a woman who knows what she wants. I like her. Efficient, clever, ruthless. I like her. How's Clive? I do hope you gave him my regards. Oh, this ought to be good. What does he mean to offer in exchange for his no-account life? True enough, I got bodies piling up, drawing attention where they ought not to be. But if I take the factory, I don't need Clive to dispense of my messes. Can appoint someone to handle it myself. Point taken. Good help is hard to come by. Plus, Clive doesn't seem the type to upchuck his boards during dismemberment. Still, you're asking me to walk away from easy money. So we're a lot of things in life, and your point is? All right, color me convinced. Reckon I owe you a finder's fee. Don't spend it all in one place, unless it's here. I take it you don't have a reservation. No matter, I keep a suite of VIP rooms for visitors of your... let's call it a certain means. The VIP rooms charge by the night, but for you, I'll make it a one-time fee. Got a feeling you'll make me a fine investment. Marvelous, do take care of the place. Maid service won't clean after a murder. Hours of the night puts a damper on the moon. Well, that's just So noted. My accounts will be balanced by the afternoon. I heard
You're adjusting before you pull. You're anticipating. You... Of course I'm anticipating. What if I shoot a friend on accident? on account of your stance. You want to lean into it. Embrace it. Work with it. You're in control of your heart body, not the
Don't let a hunk of metal jerk you around. You've been around powerful machinery all your life. And you're always in control, right? I guess that's kind of like when the filler's shooting 600 cans of near molten cell tuna down the conveyor while I'm on the belt. We have successfully arrived at Phineas's orbital lab, Captain, and we are still in one piece. Shall I congratulate myself, or would you like to do the honors?
the shoulder if I went behind a wall of bulletproof glass. I don't know how you did it, but Hiram Blythe just sent me everything I needed. According to Hiram's message, Minister Clark has ordered a suspicious amount of dimethyl sulfoxide. It's almost as if he's hoarding the colony's remaining supply. Typical elitist, hoarding supplies during a time of scarcity. Once I have those chemicals, we can revive the Hope's colonists and put some decent people in charge. So, good news. You're going to Byzantium and stealing those chemicals. Exciting. If I had time in several blackboards, I could explain the details to you, but to put it briefly, dimethyl sulfoxide is the reason you're alive today. The chemical is absolutely essential to reviving the Hope's colonists. I need you to steal as much as you possibly can. The more, the better. If you don't bring me enough chemicals, I might not be able to save the Hope's colonists. And then nothing will stop the board from destroying this colony. Aloysius Clark, Minister of Earth. Virtually every colony requires the presence of a Minister of Earth. Clark is complicit in every one of the board's crimes. Whenever the board issues some new decree, you'll find Clark's signature on the dotted line. Ah, yes, the details. I'm not about to ask you to rampage through Byzantium trading bullets with the board's agents. We'll have to resort to subterfuge. Carmen Imagawa. She's my contact in Byzantium. Meet her at the docks. She'll have all the necessary intelligence you require. I'm giving you my old nav key to Byzantium. You'll need it to land in the Golden City. Remember, you're looking for dimethyl sulfoxide. Big green bubbling vessel with a warning label. I'll take as much as you can find. You can trust her if that's what you're asking. Imagawa is the finest special agent in Byzantium that money can buy. My money, anyway. Of course, of course. What's on your mind? Junlea like a casserole, right? Everyone likes a casserole. I mean, I don't really, but I don't count. No cakes. Cakes I like. Gosh, I hope she likes them too. Yeah? I, I mean, what do you need? Captain? Mister? Sir? I find myself marveling at the complex... something...
Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. You're adjusting before you call. You're anticipating. You... Of course I'm anticipating it. What if I can shoot a friend on accident? Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? I request you do not wake me if I am sleeping upon your return. Byzantium, Captain. I understand we have decided to continue supporting the outlaw scientist, Dr. Phineas Wells. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? What part of the colony? How can I be? Take care. Can we talk? Since we're in Byzantium, there's something I've been meaning to do. I haven't actually talked to my folks in a while. Shocking, right? Anyway, it's probably about time I paid them a visit. Given the dangerous life I lead, they've got to be worried sick. Whoa, let's calm down. I'm not asking for a favor or anything. I'm just suggesting we stop by. When we're in the neighborhood. See, I'm originally from Byzantium, born and raised. I know that probably comes as a big surprise. Yeah, exactly. Reconnect is a strong word. And, uh, I was thinking you'd come too. Because it would be fun. It's, well, they know me as Marilyn the Surgeon. They don't know Ellie the Pirate Sawbones. But you, your authentic rabble. True riffraff. When they see you, they'll get it. Yeah, just don't let it go to your head. Of course not. I mean, not unless you want to bring a feral canid or a mantis or a leash. That'd make a real impression. Great. And when we get there, draw out your rough edges a bit. If you've got an outfit you haven't washed in a while, maybe one with some blood stains, wear that one. Oh, and help yourself to the good snacks and put your feet on the coffee table. Mother hates that. That's the idea. Anything else? It's like one of those stuffy art gallery pieces. Looks okay from far off, but once you get close, you realize it's just some mismatched shit everyone's agreed to overpay for. Even the bribes are overpriced. Don't trust anyone, don't touch anything, and whatever you do, don't show your teeth when you smile. What, like primals? Nah. People are extremely competitive about cosmetic dentistry. It can get ugly. Interesting like a colonoscopy. I trained as a surgeon. More my folks' idea than mine, but I made the best of it. Lots of them, unfortunately. I even sculpted a few. Turns out Byzantines are more concerned with having square shoulders and a good profile than, well, anything else. The real question is why didn't I leave sooner? 
There's all these invisible rules, and everyone spends all their energy just trying not to break them. I was a top-tier surgeon, but I could hardly open a pack of gauze without ten people signing off first. Now you see why I left. People call Byzantium the jewel of Halcyon, but really, it's just paste. Everything's polished and bureaucracy. Take a close look and you'll see it's deader than anywhere else in the colony. That's what I've been saying. I sure hope you negotiated for a raise with this Phineas guy. Ever notice how this job gets bigger and more dangerous every time he calls in? He's asking a lot, Captain. Makes me wonder what your angle is. Fair enough. But you should know he's not the only game in town. The board's put a bounty on his head, and they've got more than enough bits to pay it. I've got no love for the corporations, but they know how to take care of their people. The ones at the top, anyway. Don't think of it as being a lackey. Think of it as doing a job and getting paid really, really well. I know you want to save the day, but don't forget to look after yourself. No one else out here is going to. Hey, don't get any ideas. I'm just making sure you last long enough to pay me at the end of this. Anything else? Remember that you are not insured. Do you mind? I'm meeting someone. Shh. No names, okay? The Phoenix is a wanted man and the board has eyes everywhere in Byzantium. Yeah, that's my code name for, you know, our mutual friend. Oh, I'm Golden Eagle. Um, yeah. I named you Cuckoo. It makes sense if you think about it, because I didn't know who you were, and old Earth Cuckoos would routinely trick other birds into feeding them. Does this mean I'm supposed to have one too? Fine, but make it a really good one. Let's go with Rufus Hummingbird. Forget it. Codenames are for amateurs anyway. Too late. I've already marked it off. Can't just go reassigning codenames. 
Oh, 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 can I be chicken? Because chickens will adopt any critter's baby and keep them warm. You sure you don't want to be raven or sparrowhawk? Aw. Okay, okay. Chicken it is. Anyway, you're looking to make contact with Minister... Uh, Magpie, right? I should warn you, it won't be easy. He spends most of his time in this estate which is heavily guarded. Whoa, I'm not one of your B&E specialists. I just provide intelligence. Some of the guards hang around Billingsley's House of Inebriation between shifts. That place is still open? I used to study there during medical school. Maybe you could do some reconnaissance there. You know, swipe a key while nobody's looking. Whatever. I'm better with bird terms. I've always been fascinated by birds. If you ever research Earth species, there are thousands of them. So colorful and distinct. Here we got 11 flavors of terror rays and not much else. That kind of variety? I mean, gosh. Seems almost impossible. The other thing about birds, though, is their environmental indicators. Exactly. I started thinking about everything we see around Halcyon, and all the things we don't see. For starters, you rarely come across anyone living in Byzantium who wasn't born here, even though we get ships in all the time. Trust me, anyone with a lick of sense gets out of here as soon as possible. But most people don't. In fact, most people stay exactly where they start. Doesn't that seem strange to you? And then there's the way nothing gets fixed. There used to be a suggestion box around here. People would drop ideas in. Nothing ever came of them, of course. Sure, that part is. That's why they install shredders in those boxes, after all. But one day the shredder broke. No one came to fix it. And since it wasn't working, we didn't have anywhere to file our complaints. So you can imagine how messy things got. I bet your repair folks couldn't find parts. Back in Edgewater, I'd have to take something apart just to put another thing back together. Might have been the paperwork. Here, you have to append forms to your forms, and law help you if there's a single dash out of place. At first, management put up an out-of-order sign, but that just seemed to worry people, like they were advertising something wasn't working. They eventually took the whole suggestion box sign down so that people didn't have any expectations about it. But they never fixed it, never replaced it. Doesn't that seem odd to you? The whole episode made me wonder, if they can't fix something as simple as a suggestion box, what else aren't they fixing? After a while, I got connected with our mutual friend and started using my position here to feed him information when I could. That's it, really. Afraid not. He almost never leaves his home and his guards never leave him. Can't say I blame him. It's scary out of doors. I mean, can you even count how many times we've been shot at? What work specialists, huh? Our mutual friend is really branching out. Good luck, Cuckoo. Doctor, don't help. I noticed your pistol's been making a funny noise. 
What are you talking about? I oil it every night. Well, look here. Your slide's not recoiling fully. You might be due for a new spring. I could take a look, maybe fix it for you. Uh, sure. I'm short on bits at the moment, but I'll pay you back. Oh, no. I mean, it don't cost nothing. I got a spare spring in my pocket here, even. Everything's got a price. Something exciting happen around here for once. Nothing wrong with stability. It means everything's running like clockwork. Don't you ever want a little fun? Maybe see a marauder ship get blown to bits overhead? What a thing to say. Everyone knows marauders can't fly. smile how'd you like to make it worth 10 million kid you got presence natural magnetism know what I mean tell you what you're gonna like it a whole lot more once we start talking bits listen uh, you got an agent some kind of representation Fresh, natural talent. I know it when I see it. Listen, you got a real special quality. Raw energy. I see you in pictures, kid. I'm making a feature. Space Pirates of Moros Prime. It's gonna be a hit. But we still need a star. And I think you got the chops. Ah! Captain! You're gonna be in pictures! Already got an entourage, huh? Way to get ahead of the game. So what do you say? You ready for the chance of a lifetime? Terrific! We're holding auditions at the studio. Head to Odeon Pictures and take the elevator. You're going all the way to the top, baby. anti Creos ketchup. Organic. supposed to be a model of the system? Not super accurate. I once treated a lady who got her hand caught in the gears. Idiot was more worried about her rings than her fingers.
best find this week. Go. Parrot someone up this slandering trademark product. Pretty good? I caught someone for your own. I've always loved that sculpture. It's an artery, and you say that every time. It's strange, though. I thought Byzantium was the center of Halcyon. That's a figure of speech. I know that.